The murder of Amy Lord in South Boston shocked New England and raised questions about safety around ATMs. Police say Lord was forced to withdraw money from several machines. One thought is if there was a better way for victims to signal a problem, help could get there in time. Our Bree Seasons working this story for us live tonight in Brighton and Bree. There is strong opposition to these changes though. Well, Bobby, it's been up for debate for about 15 years now and gained little traction. It proposes things like a 24 foot radius around ATM. So that would be roughly these two parking spaces that you wouldn't be allowed to park in. Sounds like a decent idea. So why are bankers so opposed to it? I think in this situation, uh, people were looking around at lots of possibilities for helping um, keep people safe. State Representative Kay Khan is one of 19 legislators who signed on to co-sponsor a bill improving safety at ATMs last year after the murder of Amy Lord. The South Boston woman was abducted by a stranger and forced to withdraw money from several machines. If signed into law, ATMs would need adequate lighting, card activated doors that work, transparent glass, interior mirrors, and a panic button or reverse pin that alerts police. For the banks, uh, you know, obviously it will cost them some money to do all of this, but I would hope that uh, they would think of this as protecting their own customers. Protecting customers is a priority, according to trade groups, but the Massachusetts Bankers Association says this widely supported bill forces a one-size-fits-all approach. We just don't want consumers being required to capture criminals or be caught in the crossfire. Daniel Forte says the banker's biggest concern is that reverse pin or panic button requirement and that it could create a more dangerous situation or trigger a lot of false alarms. The group has put money into defeating the proposal, but say they work on many issues affecting bankers. You're not trying to defeat just this one bill with $38,000. We, we monitor hundreds of bills and have, you know, we have to take every bill seriously. But clearly, you know, much of our time has been allocated in other in other areas. Forte says the Massachusetts Bankers Association will work with legislators, but that a long term solution is likely to not be crafted in the legislature due to technology advancements. For now, this bill sits right where it was a year ago in the Financial Services Committee. Live in Boston, Bree Season WBC News. Bobby, back to you. All right, Bree, thank you.